think that people understand that they are not the thoughts? Like, no, people, people like they, they, they. I don't think so. I think people think they are their thoughts, but it depends. I mean, different different people will think different things. Yeah. So yeah. if you go back onto the Enneagram, a lot of Type Fours actually hold a lot of shame in their behaviours that they did before. So yeah. they're like, "Oh, I'm my past. My past has got me to this, and you don't understand." The, the Type Fours are the individualist, right? Yeah. And so often they're the people that when they do the Enneagram, they're like, "This won't get me," and then they they read it and they're like. Fuck. <laughs> and then they, yeah. They're not a type forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. So, it, but they, they might hold a lot of shame in the past and their behaviors and their thoughts yeah. and all that sort of stuff. They're like, well, if I'm not my thoughts, what, what else can I be? And that's not like a genuine, what else am I? It's a like, you're wrong. Yeah. How dare you pull apart my identity yeah. and try and separate me from that? Yeah. But we're not. We're the observer of the thoughts. Yeah. Yep. Because otherwise, like, imagine being every single thought you ever had. <laughs> and when, when does it stop like when you're seven like do you just keep those thoughts your whole life so no you're not your thoughts yeah. you're your th- you, you can be the thoughts that you deem to be true and you get to choose that yeah, mm. yeah but again that comes back to it's far easier to fall victim to uh, whether it's you know thoughts from my past whatever it is mm. fall victim fall victim to that to then give that the power of why I'm not happy or anything. Totally, absolutely. What else is there? Yeah. What, what, how else, why else would I not be happy? Right, 100%. It's, why do you deserve to be happy? Yeah. It's, fucking... The self-esteem movement, self-esteem idea is, is different to actually the term self-esteem. Yeah. So if you think about self-esteem, so at the moment, the way self-esteem is viewed is I have self-esteem if you treat me well. And if you don't treat me well, you shouldn't do that because you should treat me well. Self-esteem is, I don't need you to treat me anyway. Yeah. It's esteem in myself, yeah. in the self, in the psyche, yeah. in everything not, that, not, that, one, not that... Yeah, one. not even the body. That's the yeah. thing. That's the whole idea of self-confidence. So like when I look better, I'm more, more self-confidence. You You're like, be less. That's bo- body confidence. Yeah. That's, that's different. And you also hate yourself more because you're not as shredded as you think. So you, if, if this is what I say to people: it's like you want you want to get body confidence, you go to the gym. You want to get like self confidence, you read a book, because it will give you confidence in yourself, in understanding who you are. Yeah. yeah. And so that way, someone could can bring forward something towards me, and I'm like, is that true? Is that made out of stone or made out of sand? Do I? Do it, no, it doesn't really fit with me. I'm sorry, man. I can't. I can't agree with you. Or you're just like, you know what? That's actually something that I needed to hear. Mm-hmm. Right. I have my own authority. So that's the thing with self-esteem. You know, you, you, you shouldn't feel good all the time. Yeah. There's something wrong with you if you feel good all the time. Yeah, or delusional. Right? And you fucking hate negativity. It's like, pardon? Uh, uh, hold up, can you say that in more of a negative way? Yeah. I swear a little bit more with that. Yeah, yeah right. No, I so it, it's the self-esteem side of things is self-love, self-confidence, all that sort of stuff, it all starts with that first word, which is self, right? Like the self with a capital S, yeah. which is the psyche, which is the, the thing that observes. Yeah. yeah. You know, read more Jung. That'll pull you apart. Hey guys, if you want to learn more about how you can develop your coaching skills so you can develop your coaching brand, business, yourself, and the people around you, then you've got to get your way to one of my seminars. I've got my Connected Coaching Seminar coming up in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and data up in Brisbane as well. You can find those dates on davenixon.com.au or hit me up a message on Facebook. You should be able to find me. Jump on my podcast, Mood Prep. Be able to find it on there as well. Otherwise, I'd love to see you there. That's kind of it. Cool. Just come along. It's fucking, the, the tickets are pretty cheap. Like, I made that on purpose. There's no reason you can't make it, honestly. Yeah, peace and pizza. I'll see you there.